As soon as NFL players make millions, they spend their entire first checks. It's on me. I got y'all. From crazy gaming setups to the rarest Pokemon cards ever. Oh, this is big. And wait a minute. What the hell is this? Here's eight ways NFL players spent their first check. And starting with Mr. Pfizer, I mean, Travis Kelsey, what he bought with his first check nearly made him go homeless. It's all because Kelsey was a sneakerhead, aka he loved shoes. But Kelsey knew his collection would never be complete if he didn't own rare shoes from a movie. Because after he sat and watched Back to the Future, where Marty McFly stepped out in rechargeable Nikes that lit up, laced themselves, and looked like a transformer on his feet, even though that made these Nike Air Mags become some of the most expensive shoes on the planet, Kelsey went out and bought them with his first check anyways. The package is secure. So at first they were shoes he loved, and he flexed them all over social media while nicknaming himself Travi McFly. But after he was seen bragging about him during interviews, eventually he realized how stupid he was for spending all of his money on him. What was the first thing you purchased with some of the money from your rookie contract? I spent it all, Shannon. I was searching around for car deals after my first year trying to just pay rent. I was walking in this empty apartment with some Marty McFly's on and a Rolex, and I felt like I was the coolest guy in the world. Pause. Kelsey would low-key be the coldest looking broke boy i ever seen. Can you even imagine a homeless dude wearing shoes like those? But Kelsey's only one of the many NFL players who spent their first checking crazy ways. Players like Tom Brady, Josh Allen, Diamond Teeth Boy, and more have all been competing to see who'd buy the craziest car with their first check. Let's go. Cars like those have been involved in a secret NFL tradition that started with Brady. Before he was known as the league's GOAT, he was whipping around in a bumblebee. Eh, not that one. His bumblebee colored Wrangler got him nicknamed the kid with the Jeep because he was driving this yellow thing everywhere. Eh, let's be real though. A $45,000 Jeep? Could someone tell me when those ever been cool? Nobody? Exactly. And that's why I respect Josh Allen for buying a more expensive car just to accomplish his childhood dream. He always knew what he'd buy with his first check because he admitted, as a kid, seeing some athletes in Rovers, I thought that was pretty cool, so that was my first big splurge. And to be honest with you, I knew he wasn't lying because I snuck into his backyard and waited hours to take this pic. Hey, yo, Josh, say cheese. That's a white boy with a white toy. His Rover right there cost him 70000 Now, okay. That's just a normal car. Some players spend their first checks buying supercars. Starting with Tua, he spent 85 bands to be my twin. His first car was something that could damn near fly away because it's got doors that go up. And look, don't hate, but I got the same whip as him, a BMW i8. And just listen to this for a sec. Yo, what up guys, it's Drake. Real Drizzy Drake. I'm on the air right now to let y'all know to subscribe to Field Flicks. Yeah, that's right. Hit the sun, hit the like. Yeah, you heard Drake, subscribe. Anyways, another NFL player bought a car to turn his life into a music video. Fans really saw NBA Youngboy standing in front of this and just had to spend his first check on one. I got me a red eye Hellcat, which was a hundred thousand, with additional work put in, which is like another thirty thousand. And yeah, dude's car is beyond customized. He's got stars on the ceiling of a Hellcat, custom speakers in the back, his logos everywhere, and a paint job like that. No wonder why it cost over a hundred racks. As crazy as it is though, Justin Jefferson spent way more on his first whip. Once he went black, he never came back. And that's why Mans is dancing every time he's sliding his Mercedes AMG. Just look at this thing. Now you know he's riding in something that costs 150 when he ain't on the field hitting the gritty. But Jamar Chase is definitely down to race because he spent his first check on a Rolls Royce Wraith. All white with orange leather interior to match his Bengals colors. No wonder why fans camp outside his team's facility to see it. This damn thing costs 300000 But alright, enough with the cars. Because how Austin Eckler spent his first check isn't only making him way more money. It turned him into the craziest gamer in the NFL. Whenever Austin ain't running, he's gunning. Because this dude plays more video games than any NFL player ever. Uh, even more than Faze Murray over there. And since Austin's actually good at gaming, he got invited to celebrity tournaments, then eventually started streaming for thousands of people after he got partnered on Twitch. It ain't all fun and games for him though. Sometimes things get scary. Oh! Aha! Get that shit off my screen! Great. Now I'm gonna have nightmares. <clears throat> Cause I'm a pussy. Anyways, gaming is damn near the only thing that Austin does outside of football, so it got him partnered with gaming companies where he not only promoted equipment by literally gaming on a football field, he also was in a commercial where all of his friends were playing with his mom. What do you mean by that? No, I'm serious, just look. Guys, finishing a workout, I'll be on later. Oh, God. <laughs> 
Hello? Austin. Mom, what's up? What's going on? Your friends are trash and I need a fifth. The boys are trash? Yes, and I am not gonna tell you again. I need you home. And you got mom. Carrie's here. Let's do this. Damn, I didn't know dude's milf got down like that. But what's crazy is, all this only happened because of what Austin spent his first check on, his gaming setup. For those of you guys that don't know me, I'm a big gamer and streamer on Twitch, so I needed to upgrade my setup because it was a little outdated and just underwhelming. My second real purchase was updating all of that, and that was about 10 grand. It's top of the line, everything is super crisp. I have two monitors, I have my PC, my desk, my chair. Gaming setup, 10K. Hold on, man. $10,000 to play video games? I'm good with my $500 Xbox because I damn near want to smash it every time I play it. Fuck, I am not buying another one. And honestly, I'd rather just spend my money on some neck game. You know, like how other NFL players spent their first checks on chains that are crazier than what rappers wear. Le'Veon Bell, running back from the New York Jets. I just came here and got iced out by Icebox. You already know what it is. Rob Gronkowski got the cheapest of the bunch because, well, he's the cheapest player in NFL history. I'm not even playing. Gronk was in the league for eight years before he spent any of his first check because unlike the other players, he wanted to save all of his NFL money and what he was making from commercials or endorsements until one night. He was partying with friends who were all rocking jewelry around him and they influenced him to spend some cash. My friend had a chain and I was like, dang, man, it's a nice chain. <laughs> I never had jewelry in my life. I was like, dang, he let me wear it last year at a party. Yeah, how did it make you feel? It made me feel good. Yeah. So then I said, if I do everything I need to do, get all my bonuses, I gotta finally treat myself. It's been eight years. I don't really have anything luxury like that. So last week, I finally went out and bought myself a chain right now. You got on it's right it. here, baby. It's and I love too. this puppy. And that was it... my first thing I ever gotten. I love it, and it feels good. Now I know why people got jewelry. <laughs> now I understand why. Hold up. Gronk really waited all those years and made millions on millions on millions on millions of dollars just to buy a chain for $10,000? Man's crazy. But Alvin Kamara did his jewelry purchase a little different by putting something in his mouth. Whenever you see this dude, he's smiling, and I'm sure you can see why. It's because he went to spend his first check at one of the biggest, or, or littlest, jewelers I've ever seen, Johnny Dang, got him fitted with a full VVS diamond grill that has so many diamonds in it that even Kamara himself lost count. There's so many diamonds in there, we, we can't even count it. If we had a segment on counting diamonds in his grill, we would lose count every time. <laughs> Either way, dude's teeth, or ice tray, cost him 20k. And yet, that's not even close to how much other jewelry costs that players bought with their first check. Micah Parsons was known to wear a number 11 Cowboys jersey, but got famous for it when he started glowing with a diamond version of it. 30 carats of white diamonds and his number in blue? That's why he blew $50,000 on it. But Lamar Jackson spent double that by turning his craziest play in college where he literally jumped over a grown ass man during a game and right after the moment went viral, Lamar got drafted to the NFL then spent his first check turning the moment into a golden diamond chain worth 100k. Speaking of a game, Pat Sertain II, or better known as his nickname PS2, you know, like the gaming console, he embraced the name enough to spend his first check getting a jeweler to design him a diamond PS2 controller. See so, you know, this controller chain, this piece took about two months to make, over 300 grams of gold, 80 carats of diamonds. When I met Pat, his nickname was PS2. For the draft night, we were like, let's make a PS2 controller. The buttons are really cool, because this thing lines up. This is what people would call a piece that just has no budget. Now, this piece overall was 150000 Oh my god! And the thing actually lights up too. But another player, Brees Hall, spent his first check on a chain that was more expensive, just so millions of people could get a piece of it. Brees got a necklace of his initials BH that was covered in diamonds, claws, and scratch marks made from rubies. So obviously a chain this detailed had a wild price tag, 300000 but he didn't only buy it for him. Because right after, Brees created his own brand of cereal where his fans could buy it, and if they did, on the inside of every box there was a replica version of his chain, just so the world could flex like him. Now, that's a jewelry purchase I respect. But the stupidest way another player spent his first bag on jewelry was getting one of the biggest chains I've ever seen. With over 120 carats of flawless diamonds, dude literally got a huge ass ticket just cause people called him the big ticket for 400,000. 400,000 dollars of his first check just to ice himself. NFL players are really turning their rappers out here, man. But another player spent his first check on something that made him shit himself. <laughs> This is Matt Judon, and his shitty problems started with what he bought from his first check. Someone asked you what you would do with your first paycheck, and you said you might buy some Taco Bell. I already went and got some Taco Bell, but yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I, I love I love Taco Bell. What was that first order? Two burritos on the dollar menu. It's like a luxury food, even uh -huh. though it's not a luxury <laughs> food. But for me, it's a luxury food, so. Right, he's working for the Taco Bell yeah, I love right Taco here. <laughs> now, to be honest, even though burritos have nothing on their tacos that are wrapped in Doritos, my personal favorite, 
Mmm. Matt's first purchase of Taco Bell completely took over his life when he started talking about it during pre-game intros. Matthew Judon, body built by Taco Bell. Then on the field, he wore custom Taco Bell cleats, got Taco Bell to hand out free tacos for Matt Judon Day, and he even wanted to buy his own Taco Bell using his teammates' money. For real, we should buy the one by the facility with your money and then fix it up with your money. Now, you'd think that being in the NFL, Matt would eventually switch to healthier food. Instead, he's still pulling up to get Taco Bell before games. And eating like that, if you know you know, that fake ass grade D meat in a bag don't sit in stomachs well, so. That's exactly why during games, he's been caught sprinting to the bathroom to go number two. But another NFL player spent his first check just to become the next Logan Paul. <laughs> I never thought I'd hear about what Blake Martinez was doing with his money, but it was all part of his master plan to make billions. Cause ever since he started getting paid, like I'm talking about his for real for real first checks when he was doing chores as a kid, he spent any money he made on Pokemon cards. His collection grew into binders full until he had thousands of them. These Pokemon were his most prized possessions. But as he got older, collecting this many pieces of cardboard started feeling pointless. So he eventually pushed the hobby aside to dedicate to something more meaningful, football. Honestly though, this was just the beginning of his master plan cause playing sports paid off so big. This led to Blake becoming a great enough football player to eventually get drafted to the NFL. Then he elevated his game while being in the pros to get awarded huge contracts. And he spent years saving all of this money for Pokemon. Cause at the same time that Blake became a millionaire NFL player, he was watching Logan Paul go viral for being on top of the social media world and transitioning into becoming a Pokemon addict just like he was. Logan's Pokemon fetish started setting world records, so Blake felt like like he needed to get back in on the action. And that's when he started spending all of his checks on Pokemon cards, again. Blake would stream him opening packs, he'd even show off his collections during vlogs, and once he started pulling cards worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. All right, you gotta star me, okay? Puzzle, and so like this is where, oh sh Hey, yo. Is this good? We might have got something right no here, guys. No way. Shut up. How does this happen? The first bag sure? magic? This is big. This is big. How Cards like those eventually turned his collection into millions of dollars. So dude literally retired from the NFL to become a full-time card collector. All because of what he spent his first checks on. But at least now he's got something that he plays with every day. Because Cam Newton spent his first check on things he only used once. Right after Cam got picked first overall, he damn near blew his entire first check at the mall. Because during his first season, Cam was always rocking crazy clothes like when he copped different types of Versace or was spotted constantly wearing colorful fits. It seemed like this man was never seen in the same clothes twice, which when it came to ugly fits like these, I'm low key glad. Hey, who the hell let this man out the crib wearing that? Regardless if he was ugly or not, Cam just kept buying more and more and more clothes until his entire crib was full of them. I mean, dude bought so many clothes with his first check, his closets have an elevator because it was two floors. Can we go to the next closet? Off to the next floor. Eventually though, Cam revealed that on clothes he only wore once, he spent over a million dollars. Damn, man really keeps a lot in his closet. But how players spend money on things to wear is nothing compared to what they live in. Some players spent their first checks on the craziest homes in the world. Starting with a man who signed his first big contract worth 97 million, Marlon Humphrey spent 50,000 of that to live on wheels? This has been my off-season crib, as you see. But let me show you inside. Pretty nice camp, I mean, I think it's, I think it's state of the art. We got the living room, nice, beautiful couch. Oh, look at that. Boom, I have slept there before. Then you got the table, nice little table. Sectional couch, we got once some lights come in, boom, we got the lights coming in. And then a nice easy bedroom. You know, you don't need much. I recently just signed a deal with the Ravens. A new contract means you get a little more, you know, money. And my coach is like, why are you living in the camper? It's been funny to tell people I live in camper, but it's been even funnier when they come and visit me and then I'm like, this is where I'm living. Man's really worked his entire life to play football on TV, just to sleep in an RV. But Nick Bosa spent even more of his first check, so he could damn near live on the water. All cause Nick grew up in Fort Lauderdale, he knew that's where he wanted the first home of his own instantly. So he got to work right after he got his first check by getting the deal done to buy a condo that had three bedrooms, three bathrooms, two levels, and even a huge balcony. Now whenever he's not kicking it at the private pool, he's within walking distance of the beach. No wonder why this place cost him 1.2 million. But Aaron Donald spent five five times as much on a place in one of the world's most expensive neighborhoods. From the front, this thing already looks insane. Right when you walk in though, you see every NFL star's dream home. 
signed jerseys from NFL legends, trophies, and game balls from some of his biggest moments, a game room, a massive kitchen, and even a spot dedicated to haircuts for whenever his barber pulls up. That was just the inside. The outside is even more lit. A basketball court right next to one of the craziest looking pools I've ever seen? The place looks like a damn resort. So yeah, the crib's crazy, and living in the luxurious gated community at Calabasas is what made Aaron's pockets hurt, because it cost six million. But not every NFL player buys homes for themselves. Cause Saquon Barkley spent his first check by changing his family's lives. Before even knowing what team was gonna draft him, Saquon was already projected to be such a star that he was sneaker shopping with Complex, something that only proven NFL legends usually do. While picking out shoes though, he was asked what his first big purchase would be once he made the NFL. Everyone talks about their first big splurge. Do you have anything in mind of when you sign your deal yet? Yeah, uh, that's easy. Um, the first big thing I'm gonna buy is my mama house. Awesome. Um, you know, my parents are everything to me and all the sacrifices they made. I wouldn't be the man I am today without those two, but my mom and my father. So I'm definitely gonna buy those two a house that they can call home and not have to worry about anything. And not long after Saquon told the world what he wanted to buy, he got drafted, which wasn't only the proudest moment of his life, but also his parents' lives. So he fulfilled his promises when he posted a pic in front of a new house with the caption saying, something I promised my parents ever since I was a young kid. Finally being able to achieve that goal is the most amazing feeling. With an entrance that looks like a castle, multiple floors including one with a huge kitchen, and a ridiculous yard with a pool, this place had everything his parents could have asked Saquon for. So even though he spent his first check buying them their new home for 425000 Saquon knew that everything his parents did to help him get this far was priceless. I'm not crying, you are. And if you aren't, the NFL player who was speeding down the street 155 miles an hour until he crashed and killed someone definitely will. There's a ton of emotional moments in the NFL, and if you can watch this entire video without tearing up, I'll let you fly in my private jet. We're boarding, so you don't have much time. Click it.